Today we will be talking about sample spaces. And what sample spaces are, are the total number or total possibilities of outcomes in an experiment. So if you look over my shoulder here, I listed three possible desserts you could have after dinner, cake, pie, and ice cream. If all you did was choose one of those, you had there are three possible outcomes. Now, if you also were able to choose a beverage to go along with your dessert, say your choices were water or soda, and you could choose one dessert, one beverage, what are our possible outcomes? Well, say you liked cake, but then you chose water. Someone else could choose cake and soda, just like somebody could choose pie and water or pie and soda. Okay, so what we could do is we could create kind of like a tree and see what all of our outcomes are. So for cake, we could do cake and water. You could do cake and soda. We do the same thing for pie. What if you like pie? Some people like pie and water or pie and soda. But then some of us like ice cream. I'm just going to abbreviate I see ice cream and water and ice cream and soda. So those are all the possible combinations of desserts and beverages. So we see if we have three desserts, two beverages, we have six possible outcomes. Wonder how those numbers are related. Let's look at another, another experiment. Say you had a choice to get a new iPhone or a new Android, Android phone. And the colors of each of those you could choose, no matter what phone you chose, you could choose a red one, blue one, black one, or a silver one. So how many possible outcomes are there? So we could make a list like this. We could say we have an iPhone red, an iPhone blue, iPhone black, and an iPhone silver. Now we could also do the same colors with an Android. Android red, Android blue, Android black, or an Android silver. So with two phones and four colors for each phone, we have a total sample space, or the outcomes, eight. So we had two, and we had four, and we got eight. Over here, we had three, and we had two, we get six. Now, if we have two choices, look what happens. Three and two to six, what do we do? We multiply, three times two is six. Two and four, we got eight. So if we have these two independent items, parts of the experiment, we would multiply the number of choices together to get our total number of outcomes. Now we'll go practice. 